Hello everyone, welcome back to Nated Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise on diesel cycle power machines N6 and it reads as follows. An engine working on the diesel cycle has a single cylinder with a diameter of 225 millimeters and a stroke of 317.5 millimeters. The volume compression ratio is 15 as to 1 and the volume expansion ratio is 6.25 as to 1. And then the question they say, calculate the value of V3. And this is the information that we are given. We are told that the engine that we are dealing with is a single cylinder with a piston diameter of 200 and of 0 0.222 meters and the stroke length of 0 0.3175 meters. And then we are given the compression ratio as 15 is to 1 and the expansion ratio of 6.25 is to 1. We are asked to calculate V3, which is this one. Now, what we need to know is the compression ratio is equals to V1 divided by V2. And the expansion ratio is equals to V3. It's V4 divided by V3. And we know that V1 is equals to V4. We will make this one the subject of the formula and this one the subject of the formula. We will have V1 as V2 times the compression ratio. And our V3, sorry, our V4 is the expansion ratio times V3. And then we take this, we substitute here in this equation. V1, it's V2 times the compression ratio is equals to V3 times the expansion ratio. Now, from this formula, we have the two ratios. If we can get the value of V2, we can be able to get the value of V3. Now, we come back to our diagram. What is the value of V2? V2 is equal to the currency volume. We know when we are when we want to calculate for the velocities we will start by calculating the swept volume which is equals to pi divided by 4 times the piston diameter squared times the stroke length we have these two so we can calculate the swept volume pi divided by 4 times the diameter of the piston it's 0 0.22 2 squared times the stroke length at 0 0.3175 and our answer will have as 0 0.0122 meter square meter cube and from here we are going to use the compression ratio we know it's, it, it is equal to V1 divided by V2. V1 is equal to the currency volume plus the swept volume. Since it is here, it covers the swept volume and the currency volume. And V2 only covers the currency volume. From here, we do math and we find that our equation will be 1 minus V S divided by V C which is our clearance volume and then to get our clearance volume we are going to get a formula that says V S divided by R minus 1 this is our compression ratio our swept volume we just calculated 0 0.0122 
our compression ratio it's 15 which will be 15 minus 1 and then from here we get that our com our clearance volume it's equals to 0 0.000871 cubic meters and then from here we are going to say we come to this one since we know that our clearance volume is equal to our v2 now we have our v2 we have the two ratios we can use this formula v3 is equal to v2 times the compression ratio divided by the expansion ratio then from there we substitute v2 it's given by this uh, it's 0 0.000871 times compression ratio 15 expansion ratio 6.25 and then our v3 we get that it is 0 0.00 209 cubic meters this is the key of this question you must know that the compression ratio and what the compression ratio and the expansion ratio are equals to and that is basically the end of our lesson i will see you in the next lesson